All right, what's up, everyone? Um, this is an episode two. This is like episode one point five. Just to show you, I was gonna make this part of the first video, but then I'm like, this doesn't really have enough time to be part of another video, but it shouldn't be episode two. So I'm making this episode one point five, and I'm also, as you can see in the background, packing up. So I don't know how many of these videos are going to be going out in this location because I need to be out sometime soon and I don't really know when I'm going to be putting away my computer. So keep in mind this the videos for ult, ult, I don't know what am I calling this ultra mod survival or super mod survival no idea but this is basically the server I play on and what we have done up until this point that I am going to try and recreate in my own survival world. Which, keep in mind, I've been doing this for probably about a month or two now. With mostly one other person, but a couple other people have hopped in now, so we all do our own thing. I share a base with one person and his friend that is barely on, just recently started joining. But me and him have started two bases. We did one original base and then we moved to another one. So, with explaining all this... Let's get started on this. So, it doesn't look like much. This was supposed to be our main area, and then this was going to be like a second area, I think. This didn't turn into much, but it's sort of it. This is kind of like my little house, and then we also did the empowering stuff, which is a earlier on thing that I can make. We've got crafting grid that you can use as like... It's another form of emmy storage which is in what most people probably know as the crafting grids like the emmy storage from like Maya Knight, syndicate cabin sparkles jericho all of them um if you watch them this is refined storage so it's a mod that is different than the other mods the way that i am flying is through extra utilities i can speed walk i can get my items thrown back at me with a ring of magnetism this makes me eat my food like that and i've got a drill that can mine in a lot of ways i've got a diamond reinforced bow that zooms in and fires like three or four shots at once and i've got the aot that i showed you guys in the first one except this one is a lot more powerful with 8.5 damage it's soul bound it's efficient it's sharpness, it's to the point where I can't add any more enchantments to it because it's so high tiered. <laughs> we've got um, a portal thing that that's going to be a long time. We've got the ender pouch, which everyone really knows about. Um, Draconic evolution is what I'm just starting, and we've got some ender armor that's got like a ton of um, upgrades to it. That It's crazy and it's awesome. Other than that, this is the inside of the main floor. This is one way to teleport around that I don't use as much. Um, this will just teleport you right back to here. Which hopefully, one thing I will say is hopefully this doesn't start lagging on me because sometimes I'll have some frame rate issues. Uh, this is a second door to where I think we are getting a ton of our power from. I wasn't the one that really set up the power, unfortunately. Well, fortunately and unfortunately, I don't really know what these do. I just, I'm the one that seems to like make everything look nice, but also do all my own stuff at the same time. Because like I was the one that designed the walls and the floor and made it all look pretty. <laughs> um, we've got like a hot tub kind of thing that regenerates you. And th this armor was mine. The diamond tina and emerald emeraldine tina whatever they're called were mine this is black quartz which was also and then this was his and this one we just found <laughs> another crafting grid we also have an elevator system in here that will go we have like as you can see four floor we have eight floors overall just in very odd places so it's a little more scattered 
So if we go to floor two, huge lag spike, come on. This is more of our sorting area. As you can see, it sh shows like the items. I plan on using basic drawers in my mod survival series once everything gets set up, because this is a very basic way of sorting items, even though it doesn't look very basic as there is a million of these drawers out. But that was kind of the start to it, and it takes away from the storage space we need with a crafting grid. Um, we hide the leadstone pipes pretty well, but I'm personally the one that would use the covers. My friend doesn't, which I understand because you need to be able to see it at times to, like, do modifications. If we go to floor 3, this is more of these, which is crazy because now we have, like, literally two floors of them. This was our first floor 2. And then I made a floor right above it for more storage bins because we were running out of space. But now we've got definitely a good amount of space that we need. Um, and as you can see, like I said, this is the main area. This is how you make like the diamantine items. So it's not that hard. It's just I'm going to be needing to figure out all the item like, names again. Because there's no way I'm going to remember the item name is called Atomic Reconstructor. And I'm not going to remember what mod it came from. So that's only going to be my issue with that. Um, we've got a pulverizer for items that will go in here. Can I click on it? Yep. So go in here, go into the storage bin, go into the hopper, pulverizer, go into the chest, item hopper, and into the redstone furnace to get... Are like I think it gets like a double amount of ores in that process and even though it all connects it just goes right back into the computer which funny enough with the ender pouch it connects to that and that so I can just throw whatever I want in there which is really nice um, and this what even is that oh it's just an oak plank <laughs> um, because all these are connected I can put the oak trim right here so it all connects. The oak trim is what makes these connect to this wall, connect to this wall, and I have some oak trim in the back that goes up to the second floor. So once this one oak trim connects to here, this entire system is all connected, which is great. We've got the general Tinker's Construct things you would predict out of every modded series that like exists now. He, an enchanter is something really cool because if you just type in like infinity you can see the affinity bell you just need a book and quill grains grains of infinity which is like if i'm correct it is lighting a flint and steel on bedrock will get you that and then lapis with 17 levels you can get that book so you will be able to save yourself a lot of time of trying to use the enchanter to get good enchantments. Which definitely helped in the process. So this is our crafting station, basically. So, like, it will give out... Uh, if I scroll all the way to the bottom, it'll be a lot more easy to explain. Maybe not. Alright. What is one thing that I could craft? How about another crafting grid? As you can see, it'll say, like, craft, 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 craft. If I hit 1, it will show all the items necessary to craft it, which the amount of time and effort we have put in to, like, get all these items, because you had to make a recipe for every single one of these, other than, like, diamond or something, but for, like, these items, it all these had to be crafted. So, I, I was so lazy I even made a crafting thing for a crafting table. But, um, you can smelt the enriched iron. You can smelt gold. It shows, like, available versus craft. So, that's basically how that system works. And with that, you've also got another redstone furnace, the pulverizer, and all this to help it make all the recipes in here. Like, we got to the point of where I personally did a pattern for a torch. 
because I got to the point where I'm like, let's just have everything automated. This floor is our power floor, where I, this is the one floor I focused no, nothing on. I have not touched or looked at a single thing in here. So I really don't know much about it. Which it looks like, just watching it, the tree oil becomes resin. I don't know if that creates power in any way. Which, if I'm correct, tree oil, yep, tree oil. So, tree oil is the thing that makes the power with the water. Even though it doesn't look like we're actually using it at this moment. So, we'll see about that, I guess. Uh, maybe it's because we have some generators in lower floors, which I will be showing you. Uh, there are some basic drawers down here with an ender tank, uh, which generally would be going to lava, which I think we the only reason we are not is because we drain the entire lava out of our um, mining downstairs. <laughs> We've got like a little window that my friend wanted to make like a little bar area. So there's some beer, water, and many other things. So he made himself like a little bar. So I like that. And then we've got like this drill that will be mining almost any floor you can think of in the earth. Which, it was a lot more full when it was like not at its max capacity. But other than that, um, I checked out this the other day. It's some weird shit. I don't even know what, um, what was it, like, Ender? It was like Screaming Ender Head or whatever. If I can find it, Tormented Ender Man Head. So, I had to use one of these to, like, make it tormented. I think I had to use it for my armor that I was creating. I either had to make it for the armor, or I had to make it for the upgrades to that armor. The Sag Mill I've seen a million times. Um, I don't really know how to explain it, unfortunately. Uh, more ender tanks, probably for, like, mining of lava? Not sure. Power floor, no idea what any of this is for. Le level 5 was our botania floor. This... What the hell? Oh, sweet. Took its time. Alright, well, you'll see more about that after I just explain this floor. <laughs> So this floor is the Botania floor, as I said. Um, this is a mod we haven't really touched as much. I don't like how that is not there. Actually, I know why. Because this needed like a certain amount of space or something, so it was cutting it off, so I think I just left it. Every single floor, I tried putting a crafting station out at, just to leave it so we don't have to move between floors every single time. Uh, so that definitely helps. Um, I wanted to give the floor a little pattern, so I used two different types of dirt. <laughs> not too much to this floor. I have not touched Botania other than making a mana tablet. So the souvenir s sash and gl gluttonry, glutenry charm will work. That's the only reason I really use those. I will be right back. I just have to use the bathroom. All right. If I get everything in correct. So... I already explained this floor. Thankfully, I love the pause button now. Definitely helps. Um, next floor, which you saw a little bit of glimpse of. This floor, I have put a lot of effort in. Um, I made this reactor because it was the first one I ever made, and I was trying. My friend made this one because <laughs> he searched a lot more videos than I did. This, however, I did make on my own. For the most part, I think he added, like, one more to each of these. Or he just fixed the power, I'm not really sure. Um, but... I will demonstrate how it works, because I actually have to make more of these blocks. So, let's just move all those to ingots. And that's not what I meant to hit. <laughs> but, before I do that, I'll just show you, like, how these work. They're generators. Um, I'm not sure how many of you guys have seen them before. But... This is the amount of power we have, and like, how much we're generating at a time. We're definitely using it well, but I don't think we're using it to its max capacity, if I am correct. And this is the last real area to like, go on our base. 
like the last overground area we have i just put this glass in today to like make it look a little better and this kind of glass is a walkthrough lag is a walkthrough glass for us but mobs can't get through it so that's kind of nice other than that um i need to make some more uh awakened draconium so let's pull this out just to get the items right that's not what I wanted. Um, wake in Draconium. So I need Draconium blocks, a ton of Draconic cords, and a Dragon Heart. Um, four, I think I need eight. So let's craft four more. You'll get to see the crafting in process. That's how quick it makes it. And we will need... Why is my caps on? We need the heart. One thing I don't like about just enough items is because it will literally just black out everything. There was a mod that we were using in the last mod pack that didn't do that, that I liked a little better. I need to separate all these, which kind of sucks. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. My math was terrible there, so I didn't actually need eight. <laughs> but here it comes once I put that in, you can see the fusion crafting, and we hit start. And that goes for like two days. Is like because of the amount of power we have and how we are using it, it is definitely not the fastest thing in the world. Um, this is my battery that charges up. This charges, I think it does my armor as well. Well, I know it does my drill, and I think that's it, actually. I have some armor in here that it would charge. I just haven't had it, like, I'm not using that kind of armor because the reason I am doing this mod is because of some armor, draconic armor, that I've seen people use in the past, and it looks really nice. <laughs> So I was thinking, okay, all this is not too hard to get, and I'd say I can do it. The only thing that was like going to be a little annoying is trying to kill Wither Skelet, um, Wither, Withers actually, that's what the name is, Withers in general, and continuously killing the Ender Dragon. I think I've killed him four or five times now, which is the way I've been getting the Dragon Hearts, which I don't think is what they're called. Oh, it is called a dragon heart. <laughs> but, yeah. That's... Oh my god, I've already been going for 18 minutes. Sheesh. Alright. 10th floor. Which I don't know why I would skip to the 10th floor. Probably just so we could put in more floors over time. Because I wouldn't be surprised if we do. <laughs> 10th floor was basically my friend's way I hear a zombie. This is his floor to basically kill the wither whenever he spawns it in because whenever he does he just spawns it in and it instantly takes it out i will god i hope this works and i don't screw this up but i kind of want to try it on my own so let's that's not a floor let us nether it's not called nether wart uh soul sand let's grab four soul sand and three wither skulls. So yeah, we could spawn this a million times and be fine. It's just like, I'm not sure if it'll work every single time. I think it will work. God forbid that I hope it works. I can definitely kill it because my bow does a... Why are you here now? Oh, nice. Either way, I took no damage from that because this is all damage absorbed armor. I think if I spawn here, I'm good. Famous last words. Alright, let's just run away. Array. Away. Not array. What the hell am I saying? Come on. Sweet. And if I'm correct, well, yeah. I'll show you my magnetized armor. Just floats right to me. And the ender pouch, if I just go like this, goes
goes right into the computer. So, sweet. I might want to move a computer down here just to move all of our withers and such and such to here so we can work with that. I might want to light this up as well just to help. Is that a diamond? No, it's tin. <laughs> um, this is diamond. No, it's tin. We got some yellow right and we got an emerald, which those two items are definitely good. Uranium will come in handy as well. Uh, other than that, get up. And let's go to the final floor of the night. What the hell? Excuse me. So yeah, this is our strip mine. And as I turn on night mode so you guys can see a little better. I should have done that. I didn't even think of that. Um, it's very big. This was his part because his pickaxe is like explosion on so it explodes every block except ores. Um, mine doesn't do that. My drill, however, will smelt it. And it's got smelt and oh, shit, what's it called? Fortune on it. Come on, server back up. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> so with the smelting, it will literally do that. What is it on? That's why. I'll just have it on 5x5 five five right now to show you, like, what it can actually do. And... Since this entire area is a 5x5, five five, if I just go to, like, right here, 5x5 five five square, this is a 4x4, four four, but that's basically what I do. And one night I was just watching, Jesus Christ, excuse me, <laughs> um, let's just get all this junk out of my inventory. But I was just watching some Hunger Game videos on YouTube, and I was doing most of this area. Because I was going to originally mine my way all the way to the Ender Pearl. I'm um, not the Ender Pearl. Ender Portal underground, so I didn't have to continuously travel over the world. Because I would take a ton of loading chunks and spawning like trees, mobs, and everything. So I thought it would be easier just to go underground. And originally, it was just one path to the elevator, but I got a little bored, and I expanded the hell out of it, and it was, there was a lot of lava, but now it just, um, after using the ender tank, we literally turned it all into cobblestone. But there was like a ton of lava lakes that were like this. I thought it looked really cool. Um, and it was nice. Some, it was flat, and then my, my friend turned it into a gigantic hole because he was mining permafrost. Don't remember the reason for permafrost, but he had a reason. <laughs> That's all I can say. It was an interesting night, and I spent a good amount of hours on it. It was crazy. <laughs> but that's all of our floors. And then we just got the portal to the nether. Which we have had no progress in it. So there's not really a point in me showing you it. Generally I try and leave the elevator on like floor 6 or floor 2. Which can I just change it to floor 6 quick? Because I'm always going between floors 2 and 6 often enough. That I might as well just leave it on 6 instead of always putting it on 2. Okay, I guess it's still taking me up to two. That's fine. Ugh, oh shit, I'm not even on floor two. It's supposed to be on floor three. It was floor two, so I still think of it as floor two, but it's actually floor three now. This is the floor I spent most of my time on. But either way, um, this is the house that we have made and lived in. If I... We still have a portal back to our old place. So, let's go there first. So, 
So another place that was designed designed by me, I did not put in all the effort, but like the cobblestone design, I will take credit for it because that was me. Um, I liked how the base was set up, but I definitely agree with changing our location because we found a much better place. We had like a little farm. Um, this was the Tinker's Construct room that we had. What the hell is those noises? <laughs> and we had to make a door for the nether portal because we had zombie pigmen start spawning it. But this was where we had... Yep, computer is still there. Crafting grid. We had like all the drawers lined up upon these walls. As you can probably see where they stopped. They stopped right at this one. I think they went up another one right there. I'm not sure. But we had a good design for it. And then we would just go up, go up, and exit. Or you would go up again, and you'd be at this area where my friend tried Thomcraft. I don't know if he ever actually got into it fully and expanded upon it. And then we had Botania down here. I don't think we ever had a purpose for right here. And then our mines were here, which is still pretty big. But we definitely put a little more effort. Well, I expanded the other one. I never did much with this one except connect houses via railway to my friends. And if I go up, the reason th this is so high is because at the time we didn't have this armor. I was using slime boots and a slingshot. So I would shoot myself up or I would bounce and then bounce and bounce and like just continue down the stairs. So I kind of needed it to do well, which I just did not get up that stairs very well. So, if I go outside, doors, please. Thank you. This is how we all started it. I spawned right in the water right there. I am trying to do a video. <laughs> so, this is our original house. And you can tell this is where I like did all the slime tree stuff, but I got the slimes from somewhere over there. Most of our house, this was like a panic house we made. Like the first night we were here, we were like, shit, where do we live? And we just dug a hole and called it our base. So that was funny. Um, this was our farming. I'm not sure if we're still using it. It looks like it was actually like it's being used, so that's cool. This was, oh, it still is, um, where we're spawning our items needed. I guess right now it's only spawning withers and blazes, but it looks like it's also spawning some mobs at the time. What the hell was that? Hello, how did you spawn outside? <laughs> well, as you can see, this definitely shoots more than one arrow. Um, if you couldn't tell earlier. This is supposed to do... I don't know what this does. But these are supposed to, like, turn on the lights so it'll stop them from spawning. And other than that... This is where we get, like, our grid power so I can fly. This is his, um, grid power. He used four water machines. And then these are all his solar panels. I kind of went above and beyond. So I've got night solar panels and day solar panels right now the night solar panels are giving me 300 and f no these are giving me each 1.06 have no idea how many i laid down so there's that and now here's my water mills which if i'm correct i think this is a two layer high grid i don't think i put a third or I screw something up, I'm changing it to single. And his are generating between like 10 and 8 and 4. Because that's how I learned as well, using that. And then I watched a video on the best water mills. And each of these is generating 16 grid power. So I think there's about like 17 on that, actually. 
there's gotta be like I think actually seventeen between seventeen and nineteen per layer. So I am getting a lot of grid power out of it. As you can see, I'm getting three hundred and forty nine out of all of my solar panels and water mills. So it's really nice. I'm using so way too much. <laughs> This is all what we've done for our base. I'm just going to teleport back. And last but not least, this isn't our base. This is just something me and my friends were dicking around with the other day. But I thought it would be cool to show you guys. And the reason I saved this for last is because this is what generally lags me out of the server. Because once I do it, I will continuously get frozen. Because like as you can see right now, actually that's what generally happens once I start doing it this happens a lot less once i unless i start teleporting once i start teleporting that generally happens a lot more the way i'm about to go it's going to happen a lot more. probably even more than teleporting but we if people have tr looked at this in the past ow god damn it that crab <laughs> so one night, me and my friends were playing around with, I think it's Thomcraft, and created a ton of taint, and I think that's what it's called. I'm not sure if it's got a new name since the last time people played it, but yeah. We just infected this entire little island, or like most of it, with taint, and... We were just sitting in this hot tub watching it, which is the funny thing. So, yeah. Originally, it was just one of those little black squiggles right over there where my cursor is at the moment. And then it just kept expanding. If this was on mainland, each of these would probably form into one of those and it would spread a lot more but we put it on an island for a reason I, the reason that i put the tree over there is because there was one of those tentacles over there it just blew up rather than gave another penis thing and the reason it's way over there and i connected the land is because i wanted to, to like spread more rather than just have that one little corner which is unfortunate because that's why those are like ineffective they're in the middle of the ocean. They're not going to really uh, infect the island as much. But, yeah. Now, whenever it does it, it's just going to be continuing to do that. So that's why I saved that part for last. But, yeah. Hope you enjoyed this video. I am going to... Give me one second. Alright, so I wasn't sure if it was going to say the... Um, link to the server so I just wanted to make it so like it wasn't actually shown for like privacy reasons and all that just so I didn't share the server but yeah that was our server and in the next episode whenever that's gonna be because I really don't know um, we will be going back to the YouTube survival series I might have to bounce between the server and my survival series at times just to check out the item names because as you saw there are a ton of items that there is no way in hell i'm going to remember what those are called especially because half those items i didn't even set up i just learned them over time but never really knew what those items names were so yeah i hope you enjoyed the episode 1.5 out of however many this is and i will see you guys in the next video where's the stop button See you guys later.